guys welcome back to my channel so I turned 25 last week and so many of you guys requested to see my birthday makeup look so here it is and as usual I have my brows already done but I will leave a link for a tutorial for that down below and I'm starting off with my eyes and I'm using my MAC paint pot in the shade soft ochre as a base for my um, eyeshadow and I'm actually going to take this along my lower lash line as well because I kind of want to complete all of the eyes and then move on to the skin which is something I never do but you'll see why um, and then I'm just going to set kind of the crease area and above with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder this is just so that anything I apply over the top of that blends really nice and smoothly then I've got my Morphe 35O palette and I'm taking that shade that's in the center um, kind of second row center <laughs> and this is going to be our transitional blending shade so you won't be able to see it too much but all of the other shadows are going to blend into this color then I've got my MAC eyeshadow in the shade Uninterrupted and this is one of my favorite eyeshadows ever so obviously I had to include it in a birthday look um, and this is just going through the crease and a bit above it and as you can see I'm just building it up and blending it out until I'm happy with the way it looks and I'm taking this shade quite high up um, and yeah you want to be able to see this one in the background um, as you can see I'm taking it along my lower lash line also and making sure it's joined and connected up on the outer corner and then going back in with that first blending brush it's very important to make sure it's all blended together and seamless and then taking this ready brown shade in the center of the palette and on another blending brush a tapered blending brush this is just going through the crease and I'm building this up until I'm happy with it and then as you can see I'm making sure it is on the outer corner also and along my lower lash line and this isn't going too high this is just something our lid shade will blend into then I've got this um, eyeliner pencil by Charlotte Tilbury and this is the classic uh, brown pencil I think it might might be called Sophia but yeah I'll leave it down below it's quite a powdery pencil um, but I thought this would be nice as a base for the shadow and I'm blending this in with my fingers and as you can see I'm not taking this shade too high whatsoever I don't even take it all the way up to the crease then I'm just taking this other brown shade from the um, 35O palette and I'm patting that over the top of where I have applied that pencil on the lid and then I'm just taking the same blending brush that I used before in the crease and I'm just blending the crease and the lid shade together and then I'm taking the lid shade along the lower lash line. Then I've got some eyeliner and I've got my Sephora Coal Liner. You can use any black pencil that you want. And this is just gonna go along the upper lash line. And I'm just using any black eyeshadow. This is just from my Tarte Lip Palette. And I'm just smudging that over the top of that um, black eyeliner. And then going back in with the same flat shader brush that I used for the lid shade um, of the eyeshadow. <laughs> and I'm just smudging that into the black just so that um, the black doesn't look too harsh whatsoever and then just running the black eyeshadow on an angled brush along my lower lash line anything we do on the top we are doing it on the bottom also moving on to skin I've got my Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer and this is just to cover up any imperfections and discolorations on my skin and then for foundation I'm mixing my NARS Sheer Glow with my MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation and if you can see that I'm talking, I'm sorry, it's just because I was getting phone calls um, asking about my birthday plans which were happening that evening. Um, so yeah, <laughs> as you can see, I'm just blending in my foundation with my damp beauty blender sponge. It's one of my favorite methods. It just makes your foundation look seamless. Then to cover up any dark circles and to brighten around the skin, I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. And as you can see, I'm applying that just underneath my eyes, also down the bridge of my nose, on the forehead, Cupid's bow, and also on my chin. And then again, using my damp beauty blender just to blend that all out, um, making it look seamless once again. Um, I do also want to brighten this up slightly further just because I do love a highlight oh before I highlight you want to just make sure your lower lash line is blended into your concealer you don't want there to be like a harsh line where there's concealer and then eyeshadow so yeah going in with my light boost prep and prime pen by MAC 
I'm just applying this and I made a shocked face because quite a lot of product came out but not to worry damp beauty blender sponge to the rescue to blend it all out and um, which is exactly what it does and as you can see this really really does brighten up all of those areas that product sorry and then you just want to set everything in place again with the translucent setting powder and I'm using my beauty blender sponge to do this just because it soaks up any excess powder it doesn't allow um, powder to sit on your skin really heavily um, and it just blends it into the skin also I'm kind of baking but I'm not leaving it the powder on my skin for too long I've got my MAC mineralized loose powder foundation on a fluffy brush just to dust this all over the skin and kind of remove all of that excess powder um, and this is just going to set our foundation you want your foundation to last all night long and um, so that is why I'm using this powder and then I'm just taking a clean brush to dust off any excess powder from the baking that we did earlier for bronzer I've got my Estee Lauder bronze goddess powder in the shade deep and this is just going in the hollows of my cheeks and also along my temples you don't want to worry about this being too harsh and neat um, I always find that bronzer can be a lot less defined than how you would apply your contour so yeah go ham with it um, yeah I just wanted to warm up my skin a little bit also because I do have quite a bit of a tan on my body and then for contour, I've got my new favourite contouring powder, which is this Rodeo um, Insta Glam contouring powder in the shade dark, I think it is. And this is just going on an angled brush, so I've got more precision, um, and it's going along my cheekbones, temples, and just on a smaller tapered brush, I am taking this down the sides of my nose to uh, contour that also. Sorry if I keep stuttering, I don't know why I can't speak today. <laughs> then for highlight, I've got this gorgeous new highlight palette by uh, Makeup Geek and Kathleen Lights. It's a collaboration and I absolutely love it. It's so amazing. And just on a fan brush, I'm taking this um, on the highest points of my cheekbones, also down the bridge of my nose, my the tip of my nose, and I also like to take it on my forehead and cupid bow also. I just like to highlight everywhere really and then for blusher I've got my favorite blush ever which is my MAC warm soul blusher it's a beautiful mineralized one and it's baked so it just adds a really nice healthy glow to your skin um, and then for mascara I've got my L'Oreal false lash sculpt mascara which I didn't apply too much of because I applied some false lashes off camera um, I always find that when it's a special occasion like a birthday or something like that you end up using your favorite product and that's exactly what I've done in this video um, and then I'm taking that same coal liner that I used earlier just along my lower waterline just to kind of complete the look and as you can see lashes are also already on I'll leave the name of the ones that I'm wearing down below for you and um, but yeah this just completes the eyes and then for lips I have gone with my Charlotte Tilbury iconic nude lip liner and I'm just lining my lips with this not filling them in um, and yeah I like to start from the outer corner and what then work my way in just to make my lips appear fuller and then for lipstick I've got this liquid lipstick by Huda Beauty and this is in the shade Venus it's one of my new favorites I absolutely love this and it's also so comfortable to wear and um, so yeah I just applied this all over the lips and then I thought I'd add some gloss because everything else was looking quite matte so this is max love nectar lip gloss and I just applied this onto my lips to complete the look but this is the finished look I really hoped you enjoyed it please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you did comment down below subscribe follow me on snapchat twitter instagram everything and I'll see you all in my next video Mwah. bye